Discord screen sharing on Linux has been problematic for years, and I know many people for whom the absence of audio on their Discord streams was a deal breaker for trying out the entire operating system. And so today, I wanted to review an amazing project simply named Discord Screen Audio, which finally fixes the years-long issue by allowing you to use real stream audio, meaning that it doesn't come out of your microphone like with other solutions, but actually from your stream. People can mute it separately, and those not present on the stream won't have to listen to your game noises or a YouTube video that you and your one friend are watching. What's even cooler is that it works perfectly on Wayland, and in fact, it works even better on Wayland than it does on Xorg, where it unfortunately can only share the primary screen. Let me show you how it works. I'll quickly open our Discord server, you can find the link in the description, and join this newly created empty voice call. Now click on the share button, and in this simple menu, you can select the application that provides the audio. It has to be playing something at the moment of opening this window, so if you don't see your desired program here, make sure to squeeze some sounds from it. You can even mix things up, like playing music from Spotify while streaming a game. Now adjust the resolution and frame rate here, but keep in mind that even if you enable 4K, your friends won't see it due to the Discord Nitro limitations. Click on Start Stream, then select Desktop, Specific Application, or even a portion of a screen, which is not a feature available on normal client, so you could even say that your stream is now more powerful than those of Windows users. Another great feature of this client is built-in CSS support. Having to patch regular Discord is pretty annoying, so this is a very nice touch, which you can make use of just by having a file in either this location for regular package manager installations or this longer Flatpak path, in case you got it from FlatHub. And you don't even have to click any buttons after it, making it very easy to reproduce with simple .file symlinks. This Discord client is currently available as a Flatpak, Arch AUR package and also on OpenSUSE, but be aware that it kind of breaks Discord terms of service and just like any other Discord client, could theoretically get you banned. There are almost no cases of it though, so I have been using it for the last 3 or 4 months just fine. It also needs Pipewire to function, but nowadays Pipewire has become the standard for most major Linux distributions, so if you're not sure what it is, you're likely already using it. This was a rather small video, but I feel like this project deserves more attention for bringing a feature that was wanted by so many people, yet completely ignored by the Discord devs. I'd like to thank the sponsors of this video, especially Hoskins, for a 10 euro per month subscription, and also Polycrelate for a recent 1 euro donation. It truly motivates me to keep creating these videos. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.